Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and welcome to a new video. In today's video, I am going to create and decorate two envelopes for those two outgoing projects you just saw. And for this, I'm only going to use a Flirt magazine. I usually work like this. I uh, have outgoing mail that needs an envelope and then I'm just going to see how I go if I take a pre-made envelope or if I start with a white envelope or if I make an envelope myself. Um, these were two PO Box replies and one of them was going to someone in the Netherlands and the other one is going to Germany so hopefully they have arrived and I thought it would be fun to show you my process. Using a magazine clip out is also a challenge we are doing uh, this month over on my Patreon. If you want to find out more about Patreon or my Patreon or if you want to uh, support my channel, the link to everything is in the description down below. Last thing, another thing that is also in the description down below is um, a tutorial on how you can make your own envelopes because I am going to use a stencil but there are many many more ways you can do this. I will leave you for a second and then I'll be back. Um, I will be back when I have something to say again. Um, so that is obviously the stencil I was talking about but like I said if you want to learn uh, four different ways on how to make your own envelope um, I really suggest you check out the video down below also, how do you like the new music? I don't know if um, this will stay. I told you in a video just last week that I purchased uh, music from the music company I always use, which is Broke for Free. I purchased new music, but then I had been planning on using this music for a little while as well. I don't know if you guys are realizing if you play, probably you do, or if not, I'm like secretly influencing you but this music is highly inspired by animal crossing new horizons um if you don't play i'm very very sorry but i actually play and love this game so much that i get um youtube recommendations for videos about animal crossing and one of the recommendations was this super chill song and i asked the artist and he said that i could use it for my video now it is possible that it's going that my video is going to get copyright striked but if all goes well um he should be able to unstrike it i guess um even if it doesn't get on strike like even if it is copyright stricken i don't know how to say this it, it doesn't matter that much because i usually only make like one euro and 50 cents on these videos so it's okay but it's just i'm always afraid of, of a penalty or something like that so but i think the only thing that should happen is that that one euro and 50 cents isn't gonna go to me but to the artist who made this music of course i will also credit and link his uh channel down below um if you guys like this let me know if you like it and if it doesn't get copyright stricken i will purchase the rest of his music because he also sells his music and then i will actually purchase them because i feel like um he worked hard on making this music so probably it would be fair if I paid for it as well um, and then I will uh, use them for more videos in the future. A 
Okay, but back to the project. As you can see, um, I've literally taken a dozen pages out of the magazine. I'm only using one magazine, although I still have a couple more uh, magazines that I finished reading, but I haven't like taken pretty pages out of. I think it, it would overwhelm me <laughs> if I would use all of them, so that's why I decided to go for one magazine. I had literally just finished reading this and I was going through it again and I realized there's a lot of pretty images in there, so I thought, why not use um, this specific magazine for a video? So yeah, I'm for this one person, I know she also loves cats. So I took that cat image from an article, um, cat and a cactus, kind of perfect. And then I also took uh, a piece of background decoration to make it stand out from the envelope a little bit more. As you saw in the beginning, I also made both of the envelopes with those pages from Flow Magazine. I get questions all the time if you can use magazine pages for envelopes. It's pretty important that I tell you this and I don't think that you normally can because typically magazine paper is a little bit on the thin side so that your magazine doesn't get super heavy but Flow Magazine has these in-between pages that mark a new chapter and they're a bit more sturdy. So they're a bit thicker, they're closer to cardstock than to paper. So that is why I use those specific pages. And the ones in Flow Magazine always have a, a, a theme print on one side, which was odd collages this edition and then they have a singular color on the other side i have to admit i haven't loved the prints lately the only one i liked is the one on the left and then the other ones i'm just using the back side um, to decorate myself that is one of the questions i often get so i would not recommend using thin paper for making envelopes maybe if you're doing national mail but not international because like imagine that um your envelope has to go through four or more uh mail sorting machines and then if it's a thin envelope i wouldn't recommend that because it might tear but <laughs> one other modification is if you use tape on the corners to make it sturdier and it also differs if you um, only send a letter because if you just put a letter that's my water bottle if i actually have it here with me right now as well if you only write a letter then you should be fine but if you want to put in goodies and make it a little bit more bulkier i would recommend thicker paper or like i said um, reinforce the corners with some tape that's one of the questions another question i uh or I would say complaint. <laughs> One of the complaints I very often get when I use Flow Magazine is um, I cannot get Flow Magazine. And I even have people asking me where they can get Flow Magazine and how to get it and why they cannot get it. But uh, yeah, I think you guys know that I'm not like fl a Flow representative or that I'm only doing this because I get the magazine and not because they pay me to do it or anything. This is not sponsored. Uh, so I don't actually know how to answer your questions. Um, they have like I also people ask me which flow magazine they should get and I cannot answer that either because first of all we all differ and second of all I subscribe to the Dutch magazine and I think if you wanted to get it you would probably subscribe to the international magazine because why would you get it in Dutch if you can get it in English or French or German or something so all I can say about that is please check out their website. Um, I don't know to which countries they ship and I, I know it's probably expensive but I really cannot help you with that. If I could, I definitely would but yeah, <laughs> that's my... Uh, I've never said that in a video before but um, I get asked a lot actually. And then the last thing, oh this is also important to tell, those are actually two sticker sheets that were in that edition of Flow. They were about slowing down that's my stamps. They were about slowing down. Um, some of them had like self-care, slowing down activities. Some of them had sentences like, today I'm sleeping in. And they're basically planner stickers for when you need to make some extra time for yourself. Um, but I told myself that I would only use this Flow magazine. And then since there were stickers in the magazine, I felt like that wasn't cheating because um, they were literally in the magazine. So. There's that. Um, the last thing I'm doing is of course including stamps. The one on the right is getting a Dutch uh, national stamp because that one 
only has to travel a couple miles and then the one on the left is getting an international stamp which sadly isn't as pretty as the, the international ones but we don't have that many pretty stamps for international ones. So <laughs> I'm just finishing it up, uh, I'm adding some uh, torn paper strips which I always like using and then some doodles i write thank you mailman on one of them and i think i wrote happy meal on the other if i'm not mistaken and then obviously the the addresses get added to that as well so these are two simple but fun envelopes i made using only magazine paper again if you want to check out the challenge plus extra video they're on my patreon um they're available right now for all of the tiers so also the tip jar one but in the future they will only be available to the three euro and up memberships but <laughs> more information on my patreon okay um that's it for now. This was an extra video, but I do hope you like it. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave me a comment down below telling me you're a self-care slowing down activities. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for watching.